Okay, so when you go to change a pinwheel belt, there's going to be a couple things you have to do first. You're going to have to take this spring. You're going to have to remove the spring so that this tensioner slides back. Now, sometimes you can get the belt back up underneath this area. But if not, you can take these bolts out on the backs, lift this up a little bit, slide that in. Obviously, this belt runs through this thing. Now, the second thing you're going to do once you do that first part is you're going to have to take those two bolts out. Now, be careful when you do that because there's spaces under there, eating underneath there that control the height of the distributor. While you've got that apart, you might add spacers so that your distributor right there as at the nose of the bin that helps to raise the distributor but what you want to do this is obviously not the original belt uh, this is not a pinwheel belt but for demonstration purposes so you take your pinwheel belt and you slide it right here all the way down get it underneath there pull it through and you want to let it sit right here and that's where those come apart. You pry that up, slide your belt up underneath here. Now your belt's going to be sitting in this area. So you remove that, slide your belt that way. It's going to be hanging in this area. Once you get it there, always leave your belt right here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to have to get a pry bar, obviously, and just pry along the channel there till you get it up underneath the pinwheel and then resting in these grooves. Once you do that, then you come back over here, do this side, get it in and around that pulley, and then what you want to do is take a pry bar, slide it up underneath here, pull this way. Once you get this in, leave your pry bar there, move over to this one, pry up and over, get it to pop in, then take this one and just play leapfrog with your pry bars until you get the belt on. If you need any more help, let me know, but that's pretty much a summation. So first thing, remove the spring so that this piece can freely move back the tensioner. Undo those, and of course you'll want to slide the belt over to the distributor. And then that way, it will slide up underneath there and come around that distributor like that. Anyway, that's it. Have a good one. And when you put that back, make sure to make sure your spacers are tight and that your distributor is nosed up like that. All right, man.